welcome to You Can Have It All. I am your host, Leslie T. Mitchell, and I am so excited that you have decided to join me for today. And so listen, if this is your first time with me, welcome, 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 welcome. I believe that we are family, and so you are my new cousin, right? Um, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit you know, about myself and about the show. Uh, my name is Leslie T. Mitchell. I am out of South Florida. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I'm an entrepreneur. And most importantly, I am a child of God. And I am so passionate um, about helping people live their best life, you know, about helping people live their best life. And so um, you can have it all. It, the show says exactly what it means, right? You can have it all. We're going to be talking about how you can live the life that you truly deserve and not feel guilty about that. You know, that you don't have to settle in life. You don't have to become complacent in life. When I say you can have it all, I mean, you know, whatever it is that your heart desires, you can have it. You can have it. We don't have to, um, you know, watch other people win, y'all. You can have the life that you dreamed of. Think about, you know, when you were little, the life that you dreamed of. Are you living that today? And if you're not, it's okay. You can get there. And so on this episode today, we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, what is it that you truly, truly deserve, right? What is it that you are believing for yourself? And so uh, we're going to be, listen, I'm going to tell y'all up front, right? If you're new to the show, for, for those of you who, who watch, you know, our other episodes, you, you know me, right? You know, we are going to laugh. We're going to cry. We're going to have some aha moments. We're going to be transparent because you cannot truly live the life you deserve if you're not going to be true to yourself, if you're not going to be ready to deal with some things that may be holding you back. And one of the things, one of the things we're going to be dealing with, of course, is the mind, right? We're going to talk about the mind. We're going to be talking about um, our physical bodies. We're going to be talking about our finances. You know, we're going to be talking about how do you balance everything. So we're going to be talking about a lot, you know, on this show. But today we're going to be focusing on, you know, what is it that you are believing for yourself? You know, or better yet, you know, what do you think you deserve? And so today I'm going to start off with this quote by Jim Rohn. I just love Jim Rohn. And he has this phenomenal quote. And the quote is, you don't get what you want in life. You get what you deserve. Or what you think you deserve. Let me say that again. You don't want, you don't get what you want in life. You get what you think you deserve. You see the key to that? You don't get what you want, but you get what you think you deserve. Because mindset, y'all, is key to everything that we do. And so today, like I said, we're going to be discussing, you know, what are you believing for yourself? And we think about that word deserve, right? We think about that word deserve. Deserve means the definition of deserve. I have my notes, so y'all may see me looking down, right? Because I don't want to miss anything. So deserve means to be worthy of, to be worthy of. What is it? What do you think you are worthy of? So let's switch that to not what we deserve, not that we believe, but what do we think we are worthy of? Do you think you're worthy of love? Do you think you're worthy, you know, of riches? To be wealthy? Do you think you're worthy to have, you know, solid relationships, real relationships? Do you think you're worthy uh, of God's love? Do you think you're worthy uh, to have the life that you desire to have? Do you think you're worthy to live, you know, in that mansion if that's what you choose to do, if that's what you want to do? Do you think you're worthy to drive, you know, your dream car? Do you think you're worthy, you know, to have a family, to, to have kids? You know, do you think you're worthy to climb that corporate ladder? You know, what is it that you think you're worthy of? Those are the questions that you have to begin to ask yourself when you're talking about what you believe for your life, okay? And so I want you to ask yourself this, what do you deserve? What do I deserve? What do I feel that I'm worthy of, right? And I kind of just gave you some examples. You know, begin to think about that or, you know, begin to think about that. And so are you allowing your limiting beliefs to keep you from the life that you believe you deserve? Are you allowing your limiting beliefs to keep you from that life? A lot of times, you know, our belief system can have been, you know, hindered, can have been broken. Uh, you know, I re just think back, you know, I was just having this conversation with someone and I was just telling them, you know, when we were, when you were kids, we were young, right? We were fearless, right? We believed we could be anything. We believed we could do anything. We didn't have any fear. And sometimes we have to get back to that childlike state 
because as adults, you know, we've had so many disappointments. We had so many different failures. We had so many, you know, people say we're not going to be able to make it. We're not going to be able to do it. You know, we've had all of that negativity and it begins to weigh on us. And then what it does is it stifles, right? It stifles our belief system. And so we start limiting what we can do. We start limiting what we believe for ourselves. We begin to allow other people's opinion. We, be, we begin to allow those situations and those circumstances, right, to overshadow what we truly believe that we deserve in life. And so sometimes we have to get back to that, to that childlike state when we were fearless. Y'all, I remember this. I'm going to tell y'all this story. I remember, you know, being young. Um, and I, I can't remember if we were like in Georgia. I've been from, I live in Florida, but we used to, you know, visit um, the country sometimes. And I remember my cousins and I, fearless, right? We jumped off a roof of a house. We jumped off. Now, I could have broke my leg, my arm, you know, whatever. We remember climbing trees and jumping down from trees, like having no fear, right? We believed that we could do it. And guess what? We did it. We didn't even hesitate. Nowadays, right? We, we like, mm, I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe I'm not qualified. You know, I don't have the qualifications. You know, we begin to have those self-limiting beliefs that, like I said, it stifles us. It hinders us from moving forward into having that life that we that we desire, that we deserve. Right. It, it begins to, um, to, 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 to dampen um, our belief system. So we sometimes we need to go back um, to that. Right. What is your vision for yourself? What is your vision? Do, do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself? And um, I remember, y'all, like I'm, I'm visual. Right. And so uh, I, I do a lot of um, I, I ex do a lot of experiences. I do a lot of experiences because I want to experience the life that I desire. And so I remember, you know, I would go and um, and when I talk about having it all, I'm not always talking about, my, about materialistic things. Right. But that's what people um, relate to the most. So I'm going to use this example. So I remember when um, I knew I wanted to live, you know, in a large home. Right. You know, a, a house over five thousand square feet or, you know, whatever that is. Right. And so I would go. And I would go and visit. I would go and do tours, right? Open houses of mansions, right? Because I had to visualize, I had to see myself there, right? I had to see myself there. So I would go and do that. I would go and go on, I live in Florida, so they have the intercoastal, they have the beach. So we would go on the intercoastal on boat rides and you can see those homes, right? You have to have the experience. And so a lot of times I tell my clients, you know, when you're visualizing what you want for yourself, you gotta have an experience because the experience brings on the feeling, right? The experience brings on the feeling. And so, you know, go out if it's, you know, and drive your dream car, go out to open homes, you know, in, in those dream homes you desire, you know, get around people, you know, who maybe have a lifestyle that you desire. If it's in business, right? Whatever that is, you have to, you have to have an experience because then an experience now ties to your belief system. It begins to tie to your belief system. So what are you visioning? For yourself, what is your vision? What are your goals um, for yourself? You know, and are you really, you know, setting goals for yourself to help you, you know, live the life that you desire? To help you get those things that you're believing for yourself? Do you have goals? H how are you going to get there? Right, because you can have it, but you got to have a plan of action. And so again, looking at, you know, taking some time and just doing some self reflection. Taking some time, you know, asking yourself some hard questions. You know, was it, you know, what is it that I want out of life? What is it that I'm believing for my life? You know, what is it that I don't have in my life right now? You know, are you desiring to be married? Are you desiring to have children? Are you desiring to start a business? You know, are you believing, you know, you're going to be the first millionaire in your family? Are you believing, right, that you're going to break generational curses? Are you believing, whatever that thing you're believing for yourself. You got to have an experience tied to that. You got to make sure you're putting yourself in that circle. You're putting yourself uh, in a position to have an experience for what you are believing for. Because when you experience that, right, 
that is going to get rid of the doubt. Right. That's going to help you combat the fear because the experience, the emotion that comes from that now is going to outweigh the fear. Because you're going to remember that. So when you get ready to, to step into that business, right, when you get ready, you know, to go after that new home and when you get ready uh, to write that book, to, you know, when you get ready to get into that relationship, if you have that experience, that emotion from that, it's going to propel you to move forward. It's going to propel, propel you to push past the fear. It's going to propel you to push past the doubt. It's going to propel you to push past the, to push past the negativity. Because again, I always tell you, your mind cannot tell the difference between perception and reality. So whatever you begin to tell yourself, that's what your mind will begin to believe. Whatever emotion can be tied to something, that's what your mind will begin to believe. Which is why it's so key and important that you, you know, if you don't have affirmations, right? If you don't have affirmations, you got to make sure you get in the habit of writing out affirmations is so key and it's so important because you have to affirm your belief system because it's going to be challenged. It's going to be challenged, right? You got to affirm it. So when things don't go well, you're affirming yourself every single day. And I wish I would have brought my cards up here, but I have these sets of cards um, that I wrote these affirmation cards, probably like in 2018, 2018, and I said them every single day for probably about two years, maybe like man, not two years total, but probably about a year, a year for sure, maybe a year and six months. I said these affirmations every single day. And one day I went back and I looked at my affirmations, those affirmations, and I was able to check. I had wrote about 10. I think I wrote about eight or 10. And one day I realized that I had achieved pretty much all of them, except I think one I had achieved. But I told myself every single day, and I would start off my affirmations as I am, or I'm thankful that I, so it like, so I did my, like, I, I'm thankful that I have X, Y, and Z. I'm thankful that, you know, my family lives on a, on, 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 a, on a home, on the water, you know, and money is not an issue. Like I, I would write that and I would say that. And so now today we do. And so you begin to affirm those things that you are believing for yourself and then go to work with it, right? Take action towards it. That's why goal setting is so key and so important. And we're going to talk about goals, you know, on a, probably another uh, episode. And how do we make sure that our goals are aligning right to our belief system? Another thing you want to do um, besides the affirmation. So I'm going to challenge you guys. If you don't write affirmations, um, make sure you get you some note cards or whatever you want. And just write out maybe five to ten affirmations of the things that you're believing for yourself. Maybe things you're believing for your family, whatever that is. And then write them, write them as if they have already happened. That was something that I started to do. Another thing that I did with those affirmations is that whatever I was believing for myself, Right. I am a, I'm a woman of God. So y'all know I talk about faith and we're talking about God. So I already told y'all in another episode, if you're not a believer, or if you don't want to hear me talk about uh, Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit, that maybe this is about the show for you. And I'm OK with that. Right. Um, but I always would go and find a scripture that matched that affirmation that I was listing out. So because I'm a, a firm believer that we have to stand on God's word. OK, so whatever that affirmation I wrote, I would research scripture that would align with that. So now I'm aligning my belief with the word of God. What God says. Get that. I'm aligning my belief with the word of God. So I'm standing on faith. I'm affirming my faith. I'm affirming my belief and my faith to God's word and watch what happens, right? Watch what happens for your life when you're thinking about the things you're believing for. You know, another thing you want to start to look at is your environment, right? Who's your circle of influence? Who, who's your circle? You know, who, who's your sphere of influence? Who are you hanging around? When you're believing for your stuff. And so I, I always tell people, I remember when I got to a point in my life and I said, you know what? I'm believing, I'm thankful that I'm, I'm a six-figure earner. And I wasn't making six figures back then. 
Um, and so what did I do? I got into a circle of individuals who were six-figure earners. Right? I surrounded myself with those individuals who had achieved what I was leaving for myself. Catch that. I surrounded myself with individuals. So I had to see how six, six multiple six-figure earners, how they operated, how they, how, 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 what was their thought process? You know, uh, you know, what were they believing for themselves? And so I put myself in a circle and a sphere of influence you know, with those individuals. So sometimes y'all, you know, when we believe in things for ourselves, we may have to step outside of the circle that we're in and step into a new one. Okay, sometimes you're gonna have to step outside of the circle that you're currently in and step into a new one. And it doesn't mean that you don't you don't love those individuals. It doesn't mean that you know you think you're better than them. That has nothing to do with it. When you're believing greater for yourselves, right? Sometimes our initial circle they may not see it. And I, and one of my things I say is that you know God gave you your vision. He didn't give it to everybody. So when you're believing things for yourself, you got to move into a sphere of influence who believe the same thing or who have achieved that what you are believing for yourself. So I hope that's making sense to you guys. I hope y'all are getting that right because <laughs> that blessed me all over again. And so to say, right, because now I believe, right, I'm thankful that I'm the first millionaire in my immediate family, not in my overall family, because we have millionaires in my overall family, but in my immediate family. So what did I do? I moved my sphere of circle from six-figure earners, right, to multimillionaires. Because now I got to elevate my belief and be in that circle of influence to see how they operate, to see how they think, to see the things that they're doing. How did they do it? What did what didn't they what how did they do it? You know, what did they not do? What did what did they do? And so when you're believing for yourselves, your circle is going to change. And you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with that. Right. And so here's as we wrap up, here's some things I want you to do for today, right? Because I'm gonna be giving y'all homework. <laughs> Give my homework from a talk show, girl. But listen, this is work. We have to work on ourselves so we can have the life that we truly desire to have, that we can have the life that God has destined us to have. We're going to have to do some work, right? We're going to have to do some work. And so starting tomorrow, here's what I want you to ask yourself. What are you going to do that's different to propel you, to put you in position, right, to go after the things that you are believing for yourself? What are you going to do different? And it may be just what I just said. It may be that you have to begin to change your circle. You may need to seek out a coach, a mentor. You may need to begin to write your affirmations. Like, what are you going to do different tomorrow to get you closer to the things you're believing for yourself? Okay. And then what can you start to do tomorrow that will make a difference in your life? What are some things you're going to start to do that's going to make a difference in your life to get you to those things that you deserve? And it may be that you need to start working on your mindset, right? It may be that you need to visually, you know, see those things, go out. You know, if it's you're believing for yourself for your first new home, if you're believing for yourself, you know, for your business or whatever you're believing for yourself for, for you know, a significant other, you're believing for yourself to have children. You know, what are you going to start to do for that belief? For that belief, because a lot of things, a lot of times, like I said before, we are hindered based on our own limiting self belief system, self self sabotaging. I've done it, so I know we. And sometimes, y'all listen, we do it without even realizing that we're doing it. We do it up um, in our subconscious mind, and we don't even realize we're doing it unconsciously. Little things that we say out of our mouth. Right, can sabotage our belief system. And we don't even really realize it. Like saying the word, I'm going to try to do something. That try word, that's a defeat word. 
And so um, as we wrap up today, you know, I just want you to begin to start thinking about what am I believing for myself? Take some time to, to this week, you know, or today and just really sit, you know, get your journal. We talked about journaling last week. Get you a journal and just really sit and begin to write out, you know, what you're believing for yourself. Because only you can determine that. And then we can begin to peel back those layers to figure out what it is that we need to do to turn those beliefs into a reality. And it all goes back to this quote that I said at the beginning. You don't get what you want in life. You get what you think you deserve. So what is it that you believe that you deserve? All right. Until next time, y'all. Um, this is your girl, Leslie T. Mitchell. We, you can have it all. Please invite someone to join you. You know, invite someone to uh, the network, uh, Everyday Woman Network to join you and to, um, you know, just begin to share this information with people. Right. Because I truly believe that you can have it all and you can live the life that you desire, that you want, that God wants for you without having to settle without having to be complacent about it and without having to feel guilty, right? Until next time, love you, mean it. Deuces. Bye-bye.